Can women be allergic to semen? Exploring semen allergy. What is the impact of the perfect body culture on female sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, some women can be allergic to semen, a condition known as semen allergy or sperm allergy. This can cause symptoms such as itching, redness, or swelling in the genital areas. Consulting an allergist or gynecologist is important if this allergy is suspected. The culture of the perfect body can have a negative impact on female sexuality by creating unrealistic pressures and expectations about appearance. This can lead to insecurity and affect self-esteem and sexual intimacy. Aftercare. After anal activity, it's important to pay attention to care and hygiene to avoid possible discomfort or infections. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Ancient practice. Anal sex is not exclusive to the modern era. It has been depicted in various cultures and times throughout history. Association. Between stress and vaginismus, vaginismus is a condition where vaginal muscles contract involuntarily, making penetration difficult. Stress and anxiety can trigger this problem. Association between breast size and attractiveness. Perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Cervical orgasm. Some women report experiencing cervical orgasms, which feel deeper and may last longer than clitoral orgasms. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. Communication. After the act, after the experience, it's important to talk about how both parties felt. Open communication can strengthen intimacy and mutual understanding. Continued education. Ongoing education about anatomy, sexual health, and safe practices is key to ensuring healthy and consensual sexual experiences. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. World Orgasm Day, December 21st, is celebrated as World Orgasm Day, a day dedicated to raising awareness about sexual pleasure and sexual health. Diversity of preferences. The diversity of sexual preferences is vast and some people may enjoy anal sex occasionally, while others may prefer it as a regular part of their sexual life. Dry orgasm and prostate health. Men experiencing dry orgasms without ejaculation may do so due to prostate health issues, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Consulting a doctor is important in these cases. 
Online sexual education has gained popularity and serves as an accessible source of information on sexual health, diversity, and relationships. Effects of wet dreams. Wet dreams, or nocturnal emissions, are involuntary orgasms that occur during sleep. They are often related to erotic dreams and are more common in men. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. Eroticism has been a source of inspiration for artists throughout history. From cave paintings to Renaissance masterpieces, the human body and sexuality have been common themes in art. Evolution of contraceptives. Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Health and well-being. Similar to women, male orgasms have health benefits. They can alleviate stress, improve mood, and strengthen the immune system. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Egyptians, who used linen wraps. Over the centuries, they have been developed and improved with various materials, including animal intestines and modern latex. Importance of consent. Consent is essential. Not all women enjoy anal sex, and it is fundamental to respect individual limits and desires. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. Influence of alcohol on sex. Alcohol can affect sexual function in various ways. While it may lower inhibitions, excessive alcohol can hinder erection in men and arousal in women. Ancient sex toys. Sex toys are not a modern invention. Ancient artifacts resembling dildos have been found in different cultures, suggesting that people have been exploring sexual pleasure for centuries. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Male multi-orgasms. Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.